and Stan Plosky in the 27. Let's have a talk with Stan today. We're here in the old announcing and scoring pagoda at the Flemington Fairgrounds, and this building right here was once located right along the home stretch of the Speedway. And Stan, uh, as a young man, uh, when you first came here to Flemington, uh, this old announcing and scoring pagoda probably meant a lot to you, didn't it? Well, it meant really a lot to me because I got to meet one of the greatest announcers of the Speedway, Matt Kleinfeld. I used to sit up in the grandstand and listen to him announce that I had the top drivers there on the racetrack and, and the race itself. Never figured later on in life that uh, he would be announcing my name. Uh, Stan, when you first started racing here, it was in the old novice division, wasn't it? Yeah, back then it was uh, just a flathead Ford, two-barrel carburetor, and straight rear that we went with, and I'll tell you, it was a lot of fun back then. That was you and your dad, wasn't it? You had a two-car team. Yeah, we had a two-car team. My dad, uh, you know, when I used to sit up in the uh, grandstand, I used to tell my dad I thought well, I could do better than them. And finally, one day, he bought a race car and shut my mouth up. Now, I didn't say it was that easy anymore. <laughs> Stan, when you moved into the Modifieds here at Flemington, of course, you had many good years, 74 career wins on this famous speedway. And you drove for many of the famous car owners uh, who fielded race cars on this track, among them John Norsha, Paul Deasy. And I know, uh, for example, Paul Deasy, you had a lot of good seasons with that 707. That car uh, was a really a, a super duper car back then that we had the overhead camera. And I could relate to Paul. Paul was probably one of the easier uh, car owners to get along with because we could relate together, uh, you know, that well. Uh, and I did win a lot of races with that being a Ford motor, which was really unusual back then because most of it was all Chevy motors. Now, uh, was it with the 707 that uh, you won the very first race that Paul Cole promoted at the Speedway? Yes, it was. Uh, it was we were quite uh, happy with that, and uh, so was uh, Paul Deasy. Uh, I can remember back then uh, when we won that race, uh, it, it was just phenomenal that, that that Ford had that much power. Then, as a uh, owner-driver, you came in here against, against some very hard competition every Saturday night, and uh, setting up your own car. Along the way, you became famous for what was called the Plosky Groove. It was your own way around this track. Uh, was that something that just uh, developed over the years? Well, yes, it has. It, I had a little bit uh, a different style than the rest of the race drivers uh, around here at Flemington, and they sort of, later on, they seemed to copy it, which then made it a little harder for me, but uh, I was always a hard charger on the outside and broadside and through the corners and everything like that, but in order to win races, you had to do what had to, you had to do to win. Now, of course, we remember you for so many years in the Modifieds here at Flemington, uh, but you also raced sprint cars uh, quite well, and... Uh, had a lot of success in that division. I remember the time that the first time I was ever in a sprint car was Bruce Craig, Craig's car, and uh, believe me, uh, it's the first time, I, and I was really thrilled about it. First time we went out in the heat race, we won the heat, and uh, we went into the feature, uh, come through the pack, and it, it was a very unusual because it's the first sprint car that had an independent front end. And we came through the pack, we were leading it, up until the last couple laps ago, we developed head trouble, and we wound up finishing second. But I was very happy with that. Mm -hmm. 